Hi everyone, Ted Wyman here in Beijing, where Team Canada has just been eliminated from the mixed doubles curling competition over at the Ice Cube venue. Rachel Homan and John Morris lost 8-7 in an extra end to Italy, and that was enough for them to finish in fifth place, meaning they will not participate in the medal round, which starts Monday night at the Ice Cube. It's a disappointing result for Canada, no question. They won the gold medal in 2018. That was John Morris and Caitlin Laws. This time, John Morris and Rachel Homan had high hopes that they would be able to come in here and win a medal again. They started out great. They were 5-2. Then they lost to Australia, a team that came into the game with a 1-7 record on Sunday night. And then they lost again to Italy, which was unbeaten in the round robin um, on Monday morning. And in this case, Canada had a chance to win the game in the extra end. Rachel Homan had a draw and it needed to be a bit of the button. And it was a little bit heavy. And uh, a lot of the analysts I talked to said that John Morris maybe overswept it a little bit. The communication there not really working all that well and they ended up with the rock going a little bit too deep and Canada ended up losing that game as Italy gets the win on a steal. So obviously very disappointing for the Canadians but I have to say this was a really strong field of mixed doubles curling and it involved a lot of teams who spend a lot of time working on mixed doubles curling throughout the year whereas Canada sent a couple of players who while very good they were selected to play this. They have not played a ton of games together Canada's mixed doubles curling program doesn't necessarily focus so much um, on the number of games that players are playing. They're not playing as many as they are playing in the four-player game. And it does seem like the rest of the world maybe has an upper hand at mixed doubles curling. So maybe it wasn't to be expected that Canada was going to get a medal here. The interesting thing is they came within a millimeter of making it to the medal round. So, you know, they're not too far off. I don't think it's anything for people to raise their hands about and, and get worried that Canada is uh, failing in terms of its production in curling because we did not get a medal in this particular event. But it's certainly something to watch over the next four years to see if Canada can improve its standing in mixed doubles curling. In Beijing, I'm Ted Wyman.